23XI Racing has officially announced all the sponsors that they will use for the 2021 season. We are going to talk about that today. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. As I just mentioned at the beginning of this episode, 23XI Racing has revealed all the primary sponsors that they are going to be using for the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season. Let's jump straight into it. They're going to have five founding partners that they are going to use in 2021. The first one is going to be DoorDash. The second one will be McDonald's. The third one is Columbia. The fourth one is Dr. Pepper. And the fifth one is Roots Insurance. And at the, according to Adam Stern as well, the team is officially sold out of primary paint scheme positions for the 2021 season. Some of these should definitely not be a surprise. It was expected that DoorDash, um, Columbia, Root Insurance, and McDonald's we're going to be going over with Bubba Walls to uh, 23XI Racing when he left Richard Penny Motorsports. But a couple sponsors that Bubba Walls had, and we'll talk about those, are expected to be remaining with Richard Penny Motorsports that are going to be remaining with Eric Jones in 2021. But the one that really shocked me is Dr. Pepper. But hey, really, really cool. I don't know how many races each of these are going to get. I assume DoorDash is probably going to end up getting the most sponsorship of all the sponsors on that got announced today, I think that they will have pretty much majority of the sponsorship for 2021. It was reported a few weeks ago about McDonald's that they were going to, you know, have a lot of sponsorship with Bubba Wall's stake. And that's another thing we'll also talk about here real quick as well. People have been probably wondering, is McDonald's still going to remain with Chip Ganassi Racing in 2021? Well, that actually got confirmed uh, this morning as well by Bob Popper. Bob Pockers, that they will still be sponsoring Chip Ganassi Racing's number 42 car, looks like, in 2020, and it might spoil to the one car as well. So at least McDonald's will be still working with Chip Ganassi Racing in 2021 as well. So that's a great thing to hear. Root Insurance got announced a few weeks ago. A lot of people thought that Root Insurance is going to be working with Rich Petty Motorsports and Bubble Walls was working over with them. But they are going to be working with Bubble Walls over 23XI Racing as well. Uh, Columbia got announced quite a bit ago that they were going to be working with Bubble Walls and Rich Petty Motorsports. But now they're following Bubble Walls over there to 23XI Racing as well. And Dr. Pepper is definitely the new one. And I'm a big fan of Dr. Pepper. I love to drink Dr. Pepper. So great to see that Dr. Pepper is going to be working with Bubble Walls as as well, which means what sponsors are expected remaining with um, with Rich Penny Motorsports in 2021? I would assume that Worldwide Technology uh, is going to still be working with Eric Jones next year. I know they came on when Bubble Walls over the organization because they're trying to give Bubble Walls and Rich Penny Motorsports a boost, and he's over there. But Eric Jones will probably end up having Worldwide Technology, though they have said themselves that they're probably not going to be sponsoring as much. And it looks like Coca-Cola is probably going to be not only working with Eric Jones as well. I mean, they might work with Bubba Walls, too. Bubba Walls might be a Coca-Cola family racing driver. Who really knows? It's probably going to be an associate sponsor for uh, Bubba Walls, probably. But they're probably going to be working more with Eric Jones than Bubba Walls. So expect Eric Jones to be a Coca-Cola family driver. I'm not certain if Bubba Walls is going to be returning to the Coca-Cola racing family currently at this moment or not. But man, this is super, super exciting that Bubba Walls is getting a ton of sponsorship. I'm really, really happy that they are fully stocked. I heard that they had a lot of sponsorship, more sponsors that were trying to get over and move over Bubba Walls for 2021. But the fact that five major sponsors, it's great to see that someone is going to get a ton of sponsors in 2021. Yes, of course, a lot of people are going to look at this whole Bubba Walls doesn't deserve this because the only call for the Confederate flag to be banned and stuff. Well, guess what? Bubba Walls, you know, is a good race car driver. And I think Bubba Walls has potential in 2021 to bring a lot of good stats on the racetrack and get his be best career season. Again, I'll tell you right now what my expectations are for Bubba Walls in 2021. I think Bubba Walls in 2021 has a really good opportunity of making the NASCAR Cup Series Plus. This team is a J, kind of a JGR back team, though they're not calling themselves a JGR back team. They're probably going to be getting JGR engines and Toyota TRD engines, basically. So they're still going to basically be a Toyota race development organization. And I know that in the future, they do want to expand a two or three car operation. You know, they, all, they were, are already planning for the future of NASCAR, especially going into the next-gen era. They're looking at what drivers are they going to want to get in the future as well, like maybe John Hunter Nemechek, possibly. They might be thinking about that. But like I said, what are my expectations for Bubble Wallace in the 2021 season? I can actually say this right now. I think Bubble Wallace will actually end up having possibly a career season for himself. I think the fact that, you know, the cars are going to have to be fully sponsored, they can work on getting the cars up to speed. You know, they got Mike Wheeler working as a crew chief. I think Mike Wheeler 
is a very, very solid crew chief. I think he can bring a lot to the table, you know, for uh, Bubba Walsh, especially since, you know, he's worked with Denny Hamlin in the past, and he has a really good relationship with Denny Hamlin, and he was a competition director of Levi Family Racing. I think Levi Family Racing, while they didn't have as good of a year this past year, they had a pretty decent year for a small team like that, and I think that that team is on the right track. But they're going to have Mike Wheeler, who's won the Daytona 500 once in 2016. I know that in 2018, when Mike Wheeler worked over with that with uh, Denny Hamlin, it wasn't as good. But he will be working with uh, Denny Hamlin's team, and I think he can help Bubba Wallace become a really solid driver. He's got Freddie Kraft working with him, which he's worked with Freddie Kraft for the last couple of years. I expected Freddie Kraft to move from Rich Penny Motorsports down and work with Bubba Wall. So it didn't really surprise me one day that they are going to announce that. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. I think Bubba Wallace is honestly going to at least get one, maybe two. I would say at the most he'll get two wins. I think Bubba Wallace will win one race. The race I'm really looking at is the Martinsville night race, the first Martinsville race, because Martinsville is arguably probably his best track that he races at. He's generally been really, really fast on the racetrack when these races happen. I think Bubba Wallace in 2021 is going to probably have the best season so far of his NASCAR Cup Series career. I cannot really wait to see what Bubba Walls can do in 2021 because I think Bubba Walls is going to have a very, very, very awesome year. And I cannot wait to see what he'll do because I mean, he, I become a major, major fan of Bubba Walls. I mean, yeah, I think Bubba's a really good driver. I've always been a fan of Bubba Walls. I think that if you give him the potential, give him a great opportunity, I think he can do very well. I mean, yes, he could have done better at Ralph Fenway Racing. That is a clear fact. But, you know, I think that he... When he's given the right opportunity, I mean, we saw how good he was at Rich Penny Motorsports at points this year. He was contending for a playoff spot, you know. He was contending to make the NASCAR Cup Series Plus and not as good of a ride, you know. So, it's really, really cool. You know, like I said, I really am excited to see what Bubba Wallace can do in 2021. You know, I've been really excited since this announcement came around. I think at the beginning of the year, though, for this organization... They're going to struggle right at the beginning of year. I think it's going to take them a little bit of time to really get up to speed. But I look at that Martinsville spring race being the day that they have circled on the track. Since you know Bubba Wallace is historically really, really good at Martinsville, you know, he's been arguably really, really fast. We saw almost get a – I think he almost ended up getting a top 10, if I'm not mistaken, at Martinsville. Rushed back up to the front in both times at Martinsville. He was contending for top 10. So he ran really well in both races historically this past year with upgraded Rich Penny Motorsports and the fact that he's probably getting the best equipment he's ever had and all these sponsors are coming over and maybe eventually might see more sponsors with this team, especially in the future, since he might be thinking about already expansion because their future right now looks really, really promising. But one thing they're going to have to do is make sure to deliver on performance. And I think that in the future, they are going to be able as an organization to deliver on performance. So anyway, that is going to be for today's breaking NASCAR news story. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel, Curve Gage so you be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Link description below for that. And comment below your thoughts on today's video. How excited are you for this new 23XI racing? Are you really excited for this new organization that's popped up or not? Let me know in comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like this video so YouTube can recommend more great videos out to you guys. If you do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.